blocked. I was like, ah, ah. I was trying to send a message, message not going. I'm trying to send a message, message not going. I said, ah, I've been blocked on upon the bed bugs that you guys. So guys, according to the title, you know what today's video is about. It's going to be the time when I finally talk about my Airbnb experience. So um, I turned 21 last year and I was like, you know what, let's just go for a vacation. Even though it's not like, you know, we're going to like another country or stuff. Let's just go somewhere away from home without our parents because... I um and told my friends we always travel with our families we've never traveled alone you know so we just wanted that to feel that in um sense of adult adulthood okay so guys um we started we we actually started planning this in like January and my birthday was in July because um we're um contemplating to go between July and August because I think like end of August school starts so everyone's gonna be busy and July was like the the best time for us and luckily it felt towards um towards my birthday period so um we um we found um an airbnb apartment it's like an apartment complex um in la so we decided to go to la because it wasn't so far Tick, um, tickets were not so expensive so and also i could drive there you know we're gonna go to miami but the ticket alone was like six six fifty bucks here from california and um it was just it was just it was just too expensive the whole the airbnb the flight tickets food it was just more than our budget so we're like you know what let's go to la la is also good and we can still have fun so we decided to get the airbnb which is like an apartment complex complex it's a three bedroom two bathroom apartment complex so guys um it was about a thousand dollars So at that point, I was like, nah, this is not even normal. I was like, there's nothing I would have eaten that would have, you know, s it's just ridiculous. I know that, you know, my my body reacts really terribly to um, p uh, peanuts, um, but I did not eat peanuts. How am I supposed to explain this? I did not eat peanuts now. You know what? I said probably the ants on this bed because it's not even normal. I started looking. I started looking. I took off the um, the bed sheet. I took out um, I, I took out pillows. I started looking. Behold! I said, behold! I went to the headboard because it's like I'm gonna insert a picture so that that's fine. I guys, I saw this buggish looking things not even buggish they were bergs like bergs i was uh -huh. you know that moment when you're like jesus it's not even happening like I Hey, i ran to the bathroom i got a toilet paper i came there i picked one up and i squished it Beep! there goes my blood guys i was looking at my blood like there goes my blood i called my friend i was like okay well, this, was, this was this is what's happening this these are actually bed bugs. i started looking for other parts of the you know the headboard for uh, for the bed and i saw that they had they were like different things in different sections and they had eggs and i was like oh my god maybe they're my hair at that point i was cold I, I took my phone um i couldn't call them because you know they wouldn't they didn't give a number so the only way we could communicate was airbnb um inbox chat so i messaged them i was like i sent them a picture i was like oh my god for the past three days my body is 
my body has been itching i have been having you know really weird things on my body and i finally discovered that there are actually bed bugs in this house guess what guess what this idiot the idiot that was replying me said oh oh sorry about that um did he even say sorry about that he said don't, um, don't touch anything i was like is this one mad i killed everything i saw you cannot tell me not to don't touch anything excuse me i killed every bed bug i could see i mean is he even crazy anyways he said okay um who would come see me get the place and change the bed and stuff um are you guys gonna be out i'm like you know what if you want me out right now that's how i feel i'm leaving okay i can stay in my car while y'all yeah, get this thing sorted out so before um a few hours they came it was a lady and um two men or so they were like they were I'm not gonna say the race I mean it doesn't matter for the video so they came in and you know I showed them my skin I showed them my body and then the lady was like oh um, that was a guy that lived here for um, three months he probably brought the bugs in and I was like oh my god I thought you know when somebody leaves you guys are supposed to fumigate me get the place and clean it up you not. you're just not supposed to change the beds I might, I might even show you guys even watch this thing at that point i just felt really disgusted and i was so angry because it was only happening to me so nobody knew what i was going through nobody knew how bad this thing was itching and at this point my face was spreading this is supposed to be a vacation i am suffering i would have just stayed in my mother's house anyways hmm so guys um so they told us to leave we left and um they i think they they fumigated every room because my friends were not affected unfortunately it was just my bed i was affected but just in case they just wanted to you know make sure everything was good the whole house hopefully they fumigated because i wasn't there so i don't know what they did yeah so we came back and then we met what is it even called i think it's an air bed I was like, ha, hey, God. I paid more than $1,000 to stay on an air bed. This was so uncomfortable. And you get, guess what, guys? Guess what? They brought a new bed, which is an air bed. They gave us the same pillow. They gave us the same bed cover. They gave us the same bed sheet. I'm like... How are you guys even created? This bugs are known for laying eggs. And who, what told you that these things might not be affected? Because if you think about it, my, my, I lay on the bed and I mean, I don't, I'm not like I, I, I lay on the dashboard or something. Oh. No, like I lay on the dashboard or something. So how come this thing is everywhere? My feet, my leg, my my booty, everywhere. So these things have to be on this bed. It has to be somewhere in the bed sheet or something. And that night, I would I, I didn't sleep on it. I didn't. I slept on the bed on the the air bed, which was horrible because at the middle of the night it was already deflating. But I didn't use the other stuff because I was already you know. And at that. At that point in my life, I was frustrated. <sighs> it was unbearable. Um, I think on the fortnight, the next day, it was getting too much. We went to the, be the, the beach. I couldn't go out without, you know. Then it was all over my body. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't go out without covering myself up. So we went to the beach. Everyone, uh, you know dressed really nice i had to wear like um a sheer top um like my bikini top inside and had to cover it with something else it was just it was supposed to be a fun time for me and a good time but let me take it guys but it was just not what i expected you know i, I didn't pay for it to be very uncomfortable so the fifth day or i think it was the fifth day 
it was getting it was already bad my hair was itchy then i called my auntie she's a nurse she's like oh girl you might have the eggs on your head and or your hair and it would just be advisable to cut it <laughs> at this point i was looking at my life like is this me is this jesse baby is this is, it, is this me like sis <laughs> i'm about to go bald so and then she was like you might be allergic to you know bug bites so it's better to just go to the hospital check yourself um are you in your insurance at that point i started calling hospitals all oh, you guys accept my insurance we got accept my insurance until i finally found like an urgent care close by i was like you know what i'm just gonna pay cash and before then no oh, I reached out to this idiot again. I was like, hi, this is getting so unbearable. And then I explained my pain. I wouldn't come for vacation and not be comfortable. I wouldn't be able to express myself, you know. Fine, you guys responded really quickly. I give them credit for that. They came to change the bed for me, get it at the house. Fine, but the damage has been done. And who else is taking the, the, the downfall for it? Me. My body is the one that, you know, is going to suffer all this. I am the one going through all this, you know, by myself. So I was like, okay, I have to go to the hospital because it's getting too much. I can't even sit down a minute without itching. My my face is, I cannot literally wake up and just go out. You know, I have to put like layers and layers and layers of foundation. Even with that, you can still see everything just, you know, sticking out my face. So I was like, I have to go to the hospital, see a doctor. And at this point, I'm spending more than I projected for this trip. So you guys are going to have to cover something. I mean, I'm even nice. Some Karens would have sued these people like, as we're talking, you guys are already getting sued. But I'm not a Karen. I'm really nice. Like, sin? So, they said, oh, yeah, fine. Whatever you spend, keep the receipts. Um, we're going to take care of it. I was like, okay, that's reasonable. You saw the doctor. She said I was um, reacting to the bed bugs um, by anything is that the more the day comes, you know, that it's spreading so it's like there's something in my body that they probably put in my body that just keeps trying to come out so there is bringing out a lot of spots and bite marks and stuff so she she gave me um you know a list of, of drugs to get and you know just take your drugs try buying like um skincare stuff to take out the scars and all because i mean that's not how you would it, i was itching like an idiot like a fool i was just itchy anyhow ah mm -mm, i don't wish that upon my enemy no so the last day i was like you know what we're supposed to leave the last we're supposed to leave i'm missing a part so i think on the fourth day or the fifth day so 27th yeah that trip was seven days so i think on the fourth day or on the fifth day um the, the some, one of i don't know whoever i was talking to at that point reached out to me and said okay will you guys like to leave we will give you guys a free cancellation and give you back you a refund at that point i was like how much is the refund and then he said it was gonna be um i think it was like 200 dollars refund i was like uh, that's just that's not that is just not making sense because if you're gonna give me a two hundred dollar refund the three of us we have three more days to stay so if we're gonna go to a hotel we're definitely gonna spend more money okay think about it if we decide okay you know what we're gonna leave the next day it's gonna be we're going to actually have to um move our flight tickets which we might end up paying to shift dates and stuff and also we also had plans that we already paid for like we're gonna go to like um we, we already bought tickets for things that we wanted to go for so you won't tell me that i'm gonna spend that all that money and then everything is just gonna be for waste i was like you know what keep your hundred dollars we're gonna stay here as long as you fumigated this house it should be fine just pay me for all the money that i've spent to you know get myself treated and you know or you know get myself back together so guys um on the last day that was supposed to, the, i think the night was supposed to leave or the last day i was like you guys are not even saying anything i sent them all the receipts i sent them how much i spent and then you know they're like oh we're gonna get back to excuse me so oh we're gonna get back to my manager's gonna review and get back to you i was like okay you guys let me know before it no i leave the house because i don't know how Airbnb works maybe if you leave the house you can get back to the um the the 
to the owner of the house or you can't you know chat or everything is just disconnected so i just wanted to be on the safe side because that was my first time using airbnb so um at the point they stopped replying and i was like you know what this is just bullshit then i was like oh, you know what i'm just gonna get um a refund of a thousand dollars back because i'm even stupid i would have asked asked for mm -hmm. so i um i requested for um a thousand dollars back and then suddenly he messaged me that oh that why would i be um, asking for a thousand dollars back that they said they were going to do um get back to me blah 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 and before i knew it boom i was blocked i was like ah, ah. i was trying to send a message message no way trying to send a message, message no way i said ah, ah i've been blocked on upon the bed bugs that you guys put in my room that bit me that gave me scars that made me uncomfortable that made my trip a mess yes you guys blocked me yeah i was like that's just that's just stupid then i i was blocked so i couldn't get back to them nothing i left the house so we left the house because we couldn't stay in the house if not I, my credit card was going to be charged so um when i got back home thank god i had to you know start all over again i had to wash my hair you know several times wash my clothes dry them even before i brought them inside because you never know what could have happened maybe some of them were my clothes and then i bring them back to my house it was just a whole nasty story so i reached out to airbnb saying okay this is what happened this guy is not even and reply me he blocked me i need my money i'm still in pain like i am in pain i cannot do this i still need money buying different creams to take out you know um insect bites and stuff i was just in a lot of <sighs> okay at this point this idiot this fool this goat that god be punish eh this olosholo the burukwomwa liz left a review I had to actually write it down because hmm I'm ready for you guys so he or she said what's a nightmare they had some sort of bug with them so wait wait <laughs> oh my god okay I that word alone it, it, it just it blew my mind so you're trying to say now they just turned the tables around that i brought the bird in the house i came all the way from san francisco looking up hanging stuff and then i come to your house and you turn me into a monster and all okay when i came back from this trip i used to work at the grocery store so um it was hot it was summer it was it was really hot if you all know Antioch over here it's hot it's like hot hot so it's like everyone wearing the summer outfits and i'm all up in a jacket burning because i feel uncomfortable with my body it's like i had scars all over my face i don't know why i'm tearing up i mean i never cried during that time so why it's just the fact that you know I wish I I I wish I did something. I would have sued. Even apart from getting sued, Airbnb reached out to me. They were like, "Okay, we understand. We see everything you're going through. We're sorry about it. Um, what do you want?" And if I had something in mind, I would have said, "You know what? Give me all my money." Excuse me. I deserved everything I paid for that house because it was horrible. I said you know what just give me give me back the money i spent i put a receipt there just give me back everything i spent and i'll be fine but the fact that you know i had to read the review and i was made to look like the bad guy anyways thank you guys for stopping by my channel today thank you for always coming back to my channel thank you to all my subscribers if you haven't subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for like 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 just give me a reason why you haven't it's free sis bro come on just subscribe okay so guys thank you thank you thank you and like this video come on give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one bye guys